So who comes with us for the next mission? <laughs> just, just saying. So we we kind of someone fucking got down there. Are they back up? Because technically it do, counts as a new level, right? Right? You'll be oh, you gotta be kidding me! I'm not going to die on a rooftop. You might, but not me. Fuck, dude! It made me. It made me have these guys. All right, Thunder. Here's your fucking chance to. All right, Thunder's gonna get marked for the encounter. I just decided this. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Did we get our shit back at least? Is it count? Oh wait, it's wait, it's an encounter two of three. I thought. Oh whatever. Ah, eh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We already lost. Let's do uh, actually instead of blue blood here. I thought I actually legit thought it was a last encounter, which is why I started wasting a bunch of abilities. But now I have learned that uh, it wasn't actually the Breach. final encounter. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was it was two of two, right? And then it's, now it's saying three of three. So why is this game lie? <laughs> why is it lie to me? I should have invested in more bot upgrades. Apparently, I was just like, oh, this is fine. Fuck guardians, dude. All right. Hey, it's just guardians now. Oh shit! Acolyte in the corner. Target. All right, thunder. <laughs> Use your cease fire grenade. Fuck, this, none of these guys actually care about getting these fire grenades. At all. Alright. Because they, they all won't, they won't shoot him. They all won't shoot, so. Fucking 26%. I hate you. Alright, I think we're gonna give our action to Blue Blood. Maybe. Yeah. Go! Go now! I want to phase lance them, but acolytes there actually. Can I hit the acolyte? No, but I can hit him with phase lance, which is kind of worth. Because they're really annoying, like really annoying. All right, all right, go my Overwatch queen, kill them all. So what? So by the way, I just want to mention, robots right now are like they have more armor than my regular guys do. So you know, just saying. Yeah, Thunder does have all the armor. Ar Th Thunder is the best credit to team. Fucking missed. I'll hit him again. No. Fuck, why would you hit terminal? Uh. Reinforcements imminent. I feel we should move up, but there isn't a whole lot of good shots here, honestly. Also, we we, we move slow as molasses too. Good looking out. I use like fanfire and everything in that last level. Fuck, man. Actually, 
The Thunder does not have the quad core GPU because I didn't invest into it. <laughs> I ca I kind of didn't get it, even though I researched it. I thought I thought it was just a meme, but maybe you should have given it to him there. They're actually not as strong as they could be. I feel like she needs her. She needs a really good. Well, she got the acid rounds, honestly. All right, so there's there's some fat guys. Okay, dude, there's a lot of fat guys. Dude, what is this with this muton party? On approach. All right, go get him, Thunder. He's the hero we all need. Uh, let's do... Honestly, I don't really fucking care to move forward, so... Blue Blood can just have extra armor and then uh, we'll just overwatch here. We'll let them come to us. It's, it says clear the rooftop, waves remaining, and I don't see a reason to run ahead there. Although he did just buff the shit out of everybody. I mean, they're just focusing on the robot. Who cares? This is what the robot was designed for. <laughs> Did they actually they actually blow up their own grenades? That's so smart. Good to go. Yeah, I'm not moving up. Fuck that. I'll keep an eye out. Don't stray too far. And we'll just knock him out. Fuck, knock him out. Why don't you lie down for a bit? Yo, nice Overwatch terminal. Fucking credit to team. Overwatch removed. Oh god, dude, we're so fucked actually. <laughs> Someone's not making it alive out of this one. That's a lot of fucking snakes. And a flamethrower. Alright, how about we do this here? Throwing grenade. <laughs> okay, Thunder has this. Listen, I, I I don't wanna put all my fucking like I don't wanna put all my things in the fucking thunder, but you know. Mobile. I I, I he may not have this. Thunder is a lot of things, but he may not have this. Dude, they have better Overwatch than I do. Or, well, the shooting range. Oh my god, dude. They have the good cover, too. Oh my, we're so fucked, actually. Because I should have moved to these pillars. These pillars would have been great cover. But I just, I think one got destroyed at some point. Fuck, dude. They're fucking wrecking me. Dude, they- Overwatch sucks ass! Oh, here we go. I think we- no, we didn't get a fucking Overwatch. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna blame this entirely upon Overwatch failing me. Also, who has an incendiary grenade? Nobody does. Alright. Oh god, this is- I- 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 Let's try and do this. Maybe we'll destroy the pillar. Fuck. Uh, it just occurred to me, I probably should have tried to lightning hands with his first action or something, but yeah. That wasn't happening, I guess. Dude, what would Zephyr even do in this situation? They all have so much armor. Well, we do have the acid rounds, honestly. To be but we had an acid grenade at some point. Uh, Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. 
Let's try and get to a position where we can actually pull someone in. There is there's nothing but shit cover here as well. And this this UI for the fucking target preview is uh, giving me giving me a fucking good time. Oh. I actually couldn't see anybody there. Even though look at the target preview, what it's doing. It it says I can see people here, but I can't. I can't I can't tongue them. Because they're too fucking fat, that's why. Okay. Well, everything is you everything sucks. Go on, take a deep breath. <laughs> that guy has typical movement patterns of a pyro. All right, Thunder, go get him. Okay, well, we're rooted, so... Uh, fuck, who do we give our turn to? Maybe Blue Blood? I don't know. Who can we even see here? Because this interface is not doing wonders for me right now. Uh... <laughs> I set him up, you knock him down. I mean, you know what? Disorientation isn't bad. I'm actually up for that. Let's just reload and do it again. Because they're unlikely to hit us, so... And, and we also set them on fire. And also, we completely fucked that guy's cover, too, so... You know what? There's a lot of, there's a lot of good things that came out of this. I, I don't really want to overwatch, but I don't see a choice, because what else is she going to fucking do? She's also just rooted, and I also can't tell how much shit she has. I'll shoot at anything that moves. Deep breath. Pick your shots. The Praetorian is like. All right, what's this guy's plan? To shoot, snack, and miss. All right. Blue Blood doesn't care. He was he was molded by getting poisoned. The hell? <laughs> I think Thunder has a uh, has a med kit. He's also regenerating health because of his armor piece, too. Alright, Praetorian, Purifier. I think I might actually try and kill the Purifier. It's not that I have a thing against Pyro's guys, but it might be that I have a thing against Pyro's guys. <laughs> Terminal is too toxic for stick poison to work. They're just working on their immunity, man. why they say their shit comments all the time. Quite honestly, this is actually not going that bad. I expected this to be going far worse. Alright, so we have two options. Do we want to... We want to throw an incendiary grenade. So, generally speaking, we have one option right now. Um... More of a question of where do we want to do it from, and then the answer is right over here. So we have at least some cover. So here's the problem. Fucking A. They're all perfectly just far enough away to annoy me. Oh, actually, this is fine. I like that one. Oh shit, the audio just completely lagged. 
Action's remaining one. Um, there's someone I want to pull out of position. Maybe this guy. But we're not going to be able to tongue him, though. We just can only pull him out of position. You, come here. So I can get his ass shot. Actually, we can't. What the hell? We get it. We still get an action. Oh, because the grenade didn't count as an action. That's why. Grenade was free. There goes Turbine on that fucking Overwatch game again. This game might be taking it easy on you. I'm insulted. And you're probably right. You think it took pity on me? I'm, I'm, I'm only playing this on like the second hardest difficulty. So... It's just like the hard mode but not like the expert mode. God, this fucking... Fuck, just hit the python. And, or not hit the python, I don't care. Alright. This guy's staying in the poison. He's growing immunity. I mean, the robot is actually really doing its job, which is just to be useless and annoying. Expunging target. Good, you're still breathing. <laughs> what? What do you mean, good? You're still breathing? It was a fucking robot. Terminal! Terminal, shut the it's fuck up. Target. Oh my god, Overwatch removed. Oh, I can't take this guy. Back in action. I actually probably shouldn't have reloaded because I would have gotten a... I would have gotten a good shot there. Oh well. Right. Fuck. It's these situations I really wish I had a... Fucking... Where's this guy? I don't know now. That guy's not getting a turn for ages, so... Fuck it, kill this guy. Uh. We're still probably fine, honestly. Assuming most of our team stays alive. Unless you tongue that guy. Okay, no you're not. You're only gonna shoot him, that's okay. Oh, oh god, okay. Alright. That was that was a close one. Uh we don't really have any other decent actions here. <laughs> See Torque also just gets to dodge everything, so. I'm thinking Torque should also get the... Torque is kind of in danger close mode, so... What do you mean you didn't ask for this? Actually, I have a turncoat grenade. So now that they're close enough for this... Oh god, come on, dude. Actually, just do, do it on these two. He did nothing but reload. I'm not a fan of that, I have to say. Oh, he's still Berserk. What the fuck? I, I, part of me wants to just kill the Python, but a part of me wants to just kill... Actually, I should probably just kill this Python, honestly. Let's just do this. Because we're not going to line them up anymore, so... Is 
Is he still berserk? Oh, what the hell? Get over here. Did we miss him? We actually fucking missed him. Or we just eat poison, I guess. Feel a slight sting. Ninety-seven percent. Yep, it happens. Now terminal's out of cover. Just how terminal likes it. Let's let's go for it again. <laughs> there we now we got him. Is he poison now? I don't even know. No, he's not even poisoned. Alright, we somehow did it. But this is not the end. This is there's a super super final boss. Alright. Building rank two teams. What the? What? How how many fucking encounters are there? Encounter two of two. It never ends. <laughs> it will never end. It and the worst part is it doesn't even reset their cooldowns. Fucking A. They just keep it going, man. <laughs> Don't bunch up. Breach. Breach. It, it's not it's not that this isn't fun, but like I, I how can I prepare for anything when it doesn't tell me what the fuck the how many how many encounters I have here? Someone just gave up. They're just like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> This is this is the final boss. I have like fucking fifteen thousand encounters. Cause like, f like the fucking what was it? Zephyr or whatever fucking died just something stupid, and and I wasted all the cooldowns because I thought it was like I'm like yeah we're basically done here, right? I'm like yeah this is done. We don't have to do this anymore. No, apparently not. <laughs> Good thing we made two b robots, right? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know who to hit. Clear all 80 floors top and bottom. <laughs> Alright, we gotta fucking take out these guys now. Let's basically slay the spire. XCOM, lay down your arms. It's Chimera Squad. And screw you for all you've done, pal. All I've done? I've reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The Elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. Sorry, I missed that. I was considering which of your arteries to open first. You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Shrike, destroy them! Okay, so they're leaving, right? Kill our captured sovereign. Who's sovereign then? This guy. I want to kind of teleport. Closer to him. Heads 
So, I still don't have any of my cooldowns. When am I supposed to know when to use them when I never have my cooldowns? Turncoat grenade. I, I have this one. Wait, I wait. It, did it replenish my supplies? I simply do not know anymore. Immune. Oh right, sorcerers would be immune. Wait, she, that doesn't look immune. <laughs> Lightning reflexes. We go where we must. Disabling the prey's weapon. Fucking, they all have lightning reflexes. <laughs> and Overwatch canceled. Covering the distance. Fucking useless piece of shit. I want to kill. I want to not kill Sovereign, but I would like to disable his weapon. Uh, kill, like take him down. But yeah. I still have an incinerator grenade too, of all things. I, I, you know, in these situations, I just don't know if there's a reason to keep it, so. It's kind of shitty though that it keeps you going for like five encounters. <laughs> and I don't have, uh, I don't have like one of my main guys, I'm using shitty robots. What? Could not arrest. What are you talking about? He's sustained. <laughs> Blue blood, man. You gotta dodge. Also, when I hit here, yeah. Why can't Chimera Squads get chiz? Androids, I guess, are the next level. I don't know. Actually, this guy's gonna immediately attack me, so maybe I should just shoot him right now. Or I should probably heal Blue Blood. We've lost enough people today. Well, mostly just one person, but you know. Uh, I won't go into the semantics here. You're out of luck. Covering the distance. Hey, good, they're as accurate as everyone else's. Nice. Dragon MVP. You got the most evasive fucking robot reflexes ever. And also a shit ton of armor. The 
Do you think Snack cares about this at all? You cannot disable Snack weapon. My god, these guys are so annoying. They're also really bad at hitting me. <laughs> Dude, he is the tank! Maybe it's a good thing that fucking thing died, honestly. Alright. I have a 10 damage hit. Look at this one. Oh my god. 15 damage. 15 damage. <laughs> How do you miss this? <laughs> 15 damage, man. Dragons, keep, keep diverting them. Dude, bots are overpowered, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Uh, kinda wanna heal someone. Does she have a med kit? Yes, yeah, she does, so she'll be okay. Uh, who do I grant an action to? I guess Blue Blood, honestly. Dragon could just stay out there. Dragon's, Dragon's doing, doing work, okay? Oh, I, I probably should have shot the fucking other person, but that's okay. There's never enough ammo. How are you not hitting that? How's that guy not poisoned? Apparently he's like perfectly in a position not to get poisoned. What the hell? What the Just go Who even knows why I, that didn't work? <laughs> Good job, dragon. <laughs> get in there, go get him. Just blue blood just like ends everybody, honestly. Okay. Rating good. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I don't even know. All I know is fucking my my melee fist wizard. <laughs> Got fucking down in the second, the second thing. There was three other encounters after that, and fucking, what's this shit? Chimera Squad. The director has arrived. At ease. One month ago, you were understaffed, outgunned, and in temporary housing. Hey, the place had character. And rats. Don't forget the rats. <clears throat> Now, the entire squad is here, with the latest and greatest from XCOM HQ. City 31 is in good hands. Hostage situation in Old Town. We'll need all hands for this one. Chimera Squad, form up and load in. I'm sorry for interrupting. You made my point. Go on, do your jobs. Reclamation is entrenched. Our assets burned. We have no options. The battle for City 31 is lost, but XCOM doesn't realize they're already at war. And when they do? It will be too late. What the fuck kind of conclusion was that? Excuse me? That was the ending? 
Excuse me? <laughs> Alright. I mean... <laughs> it's pretty bad ending, you think? Um, I didn't even know I was in the endgame. Uh, first off... So, yeah, that was... Yeah, that ending was super fucking rushed. Like... <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. I mean, I still like it. I still think it's worth the money that I didn't pay for it because uh, thanks Yoda once again for for gifting this to me. But that for the cost that it was, it was actually like still I would say a good game. But like, god damn, the pacing for the end of that was so bad. Um, I mean, okay, mechanically, it was good. Uh, is there anything else I do can do here or what? XCOM handbook. Okay. Oh, here we go. I think now we get the credits. <laughs> you wiped out three organizations in secret society in 90, 70 days. Yeah. I... I think this was, like I said, I'm pretty sure this was meant more of like, it was an experiment. It was like an XCOM light kind of thing. Uh, kind of deal going on. I still think it was pretty good, but the ending left a lot to be desired to this. Not just for story-wise, because it didn't make any fucking sense what was going on, but just the pacing was terrible. Like, all I remember is I did the first encounter, uh, and I and I had to face like the gateway, and I'm like, oh god, that's like hard as shit. I'm like, because I like that took me quite a number of times. I I remember I was out there for like if you guys were there for like an hour or two, right? And then I'm like, oh shit, like the, the rest of this is gonna be really hard. And then it was like, no. No, it was it, it wasn't like the rest of them were really really easy. I did the muton trying to fly into in the spaceport. That was like the easiest one out of all three. Uh, and then when I did the psi, this the psi was pretty annoying because they had guaranteed attacks on me behind cover. But then it was like, but by, by that time all my characters were overpowered, so it didn't matter anymore. Um, yeah, literally the first campaign was the hardest, and and I can guarantee you if I didn't pick that one, if I picked maybe the middle one. I probably would have had an easier time because imagine if I had blue blood for like the 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 freaking gateway, like it would have been probably like we would have just smoked them honestly. So it's probably also my shitty squad I had going to to be honest. There's a little bit of that. Um, the dialogue I hope they never do that again. Um, I didn't like it uh, in terms of the di the, the dialogue stuff. Um, it was just no like it's a it's a strategy game I can do without it. Uh, I, I know, I know you're trying to do like, cause you had like the, the set of like, whatever, eight characters, 10 characters, I forgot how many there were. You're trying to give them personality, you know, that's why they can't die, you know, things like that. Um, I, I, I wouldn't want to see that again. Just like it, I like anonymous soldiers who are like red shirts that like, like, cause you don't get, a, you don't get attached to them. Right. Because like that, the, the, the one, like. The one shotgunner or the one sniper you have in like XCOM one or two or something that's been since from you from the beginning, and you've been working them all up, and then they die at like, like like some other part of the game, and especially if you're on like Iron Man for that, you get attached to those soldiers. These ones you don't. You don't get attached to anybody here because you're like these people are fucking annoying, and they literally cannot die on missions. So, <laughs> um, that's not, that's not great. Imagine if you do the the first one last though, you'd have to fight your way through a fuck ton of enemies like the for the um what are you talking about for the side ones i'm not sure what you're talking about is some people green lighted the dialogue i don't know i i i sometimes sometimes mistakes happen and they're really late in the process and you just can't change it um uh, i don't i don't know what they thought Maybe they thought it was a good idea. Maybe they thought it was like a likable. I mean, honestly, there was a couple likable characters. Like, I think everybody likes the snake character. They don't like the snake, the character itself. They just like the fact it's a snake and they get to have it on their squad. That's they think that's cool. Everyone thinks it's cool. Honestly, the, be, having a mutant on your squad should have been a lot cooler than it was. It actually sucked fucking ass. Like the first time I saw the mutant, I'm like, damn, I gotta take that guy. He's gonna be sick because mutants kicked my ass in XCOM one and two. Fucking, he sucked. It was like actually the worst. <laughs> yeah, snake, snake is cool. Um, just it, it's a, a lot of I don't know. It's just 
it's it's hard to like these characters because they're just they're, they're not likable they're they're just they're, like not only are they fucking assholes to each other they're just like like just dragging each other down i, I get it they're like joking but it's like what the fuck is going on i don't even know oh my god you wish we got chris lid teammate i wish i that would have been kind of interesting too but like given how they've been like doing the dialogue for the characters in this game like the, the like the muton having like a like a pretty medium to high pitched voice, absolutely terrible voice casting for that one. By the way, uh, by the way, for Axis, if you're uh, listening, uh, you know, call me up. I'll I'll be the muton right there. You know, Zephyr's great. Snake is great. Muton can eat shit. Yeah, I'll agree to that. Blue Blood, I like as well. Kind of, I, he's fine too. Uh, Godmother, I couldn't stand. Uh, who else? Terminal. Terminal was a fucking meme. Because every time Terminal talked, it was exactly the opposite of what happened in the mission. Like, she's... she's. <laughs> I think I think she, she was the best for comedic timing, and it was completely unintentional. <laughs> Cherub, Cherub sucked ass. Cherub, <laughs> Cherub was bad. I actually liked... Um, I liked the Neural Network guy. I, I probably should have used him more, honestly. I, I I gave up on him too fast, and it was mostly because he was the only one using an assault rifle, and I didn't want to invest into it. That's that's literally the only reason I didn't I, I didn't take him along after a certain point, because I'm like I have to have blue blood for the pistols, and I wasn't gonna have Cherub with his pistols, so fuck Cherub. And then we had like the Snick and Terminal, who both used an SMG, and then I had Shotgunner, and then the Fister McFuck, so. I, I kind of invested in the shotguns pretty early on, so it's just kind of how, kind of how I did it. Oh, you got a replay for the other characters? Who was there? There was like a, I think there was a guy named Claymore and something else. So I honestly, I honestly would. Sorry, my phone's like being annoying. Let's put it over there. Um, I, I would actually play this again, if, and for Hacker Lady too. Uh, maybe. I would probably play this again and on the higher difficulty on, uh, as well. Yeah, I know there was another two or three characters. I'm surprised you just didn't, didn't get the entire roster right off the first bat. But I know for the future, fucking skip the Muton. Oh my god, that Muton's horrible. Um, like, like it's not like Zephyr. Like fucking Zephyr had like a guaranteed like hit, but like the Muton, no. And if if they actually made it so he had guaranteed hits, he would have been a lot better. Um, but no, they didn't do that. They just made it so like, oh, I have eighty percent chance to land all my melee hits, and I and I think out of maybe the ten times I tried to use it, I hit two of them. <laughs> so it was like an opposite. So Yahtzee yeah, play play used the muton, but he probably played at lower difficulties. Was he a fan of the muton? Because the muton was horrible for me. I mean, I guess I just got really unlucky. But he was just like his entire skill set. I got him up to like half the levels. But like you can kind of tell who's going to be like good and not, because, because uh, like Blue Blood, I think the second I got him, I'm like this guy is going to be in the final squad. Like he can shoot twice, and he's got like a bunch of other abilities, and like everything else he got after that was cake, cake on top. The Muton, the minute I got him, he was just fucking atrocious, and like like he did nothing useful. Like there's this whole rage mechanic with him, but like I could never. I I first of all, I didn't really understood how understand how it works. Grant, granted like that and that's that's a whole other topic of discussion about the interface which i'll get into in a second but also yeah like he just i don't know he just did, he didn't hit anything he didn't do his job and he wasn't very useful godmother was a better shotgunner than he was than the muton was which is weird it's a fucking muton he should have like a ton of armor or some shit out you think um i would say this is actually the worst ui they've done for an uh, xcom game uh in a long time uh, like a lot, a lot of this, they they put a lot of effort into like some games. They put a lot of effort into the UI, and and XCOM is one of those games that really needs a good UI. It needs to tell you how many turns you have left, what buffs and debuffs on stuff. Like for example, like Divinity, the Divinity games always had a really good UI to them because you could you can understand exactly what's going on. I think the only problem I, I mean can't ever had with, with Divinity is like people you moving by accident, and that was like a like a minor thing. Like that's a, that's a game I can think of off the top of my head that had a really good UI. That was kind of like strategy turn based kind of thing, similar to this in the, in this fashion too. And like you would you, and you would know what affects what, how much damage you'll do, etc. This one I had no fucking idea half the time. I had no idea what 
abilities did what. It just, I couldn't read it. I couldn't refresh myself. I couldn't, I couldn't look any of it up. Um, I, I find, I hate games that you feel like you have to look up things in a wiki or look things up online if, if certain, certain, certain things will work because you, you just want to, you want to know off the top of your head if something will work or not. It's just annoying. Um, but with that all being said, I still think it's a good game. I still think it's good. Um, assuming it's good for modding, I think P I think either the modders will fix it, or hopefully, you know, they the developers fix it. Wasn't it Fair Axis who did this? I see 2K here. I thought it was Fair Axis who did this shit. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess it's like talking about my 2K account. I thought it was Fair Axis who made this. I need to actually look this up now, because maybe I'm. Uh, Ferex is the Civ games? Oh, was I fucking completely wrong? I thought they did this too. Now I need to look it up because I maybe said this the entire time and I've been wrong. I thought they I thought they did do this one. No no, it's developer Ferex's games. I'm right. Yeah, they did they did do this. They did do this. Okay. No, I'm not an idiot then. I'm just a regular idiot. Um uh, oh, it did, yeah, it did say Ferox game. Okay, I, mean, I didn't. I wasn't looking at my screen. I was actually looking at the chat. <laughs> Type ladder, daddy. Yeah, thank you. Um, so they did the New York Homes. They, like, one was really good. Two was really good. This is this is still good, but not as good. And it's going down now. So, like I said, at least the their design in terms of combat and stuff is pretty good. It wasn't particularly balanced. But it was still good. And I think, though, it would probably... I honestly feel like Expert is normal. I'm not going to lie. Because it, it... Especially near the end. Because the way the cover system works and the crits work, it's way too forgiving. Because half the situations I have people in should not have... Uh, it should not fly. It should absolutely not fly. I Like, you should be getting your ass crit and dying. So, there were some decisions there... Yeah, cover is crap. Full cover is good because it gives you armor at least. So, a bug with shielding is turning into HP is BS though. Was it HP? I thought it was just like an extra bar. I, I actually couldn't tell. I thought it was blue. I thought it was just a UI glitch, I, but I'm not sure about that. That's And that's what I mean. It's just, it's got like really weird bugs to it. So, I don't, I don't really know. Um... So, but like I said, everything here is, I think, an easy fix, either for modders or for uh, the developers. And I hope the developers come back and fix this up because it, it, it does deserve to get fixed up, um, I feel. Because, yeah, I like I said, if, if you're still like if anyone's on the fence about buying, it, I would say still still buy it because I would do I will do this probably. I will do another run on this of impossible because um, I feel like I feel like expert was too forgiving, honestly. Because someone was even saying like it's for the final part, it's way too forgiving, and and you're and that person was absolutely correct. Because I I would I should have got fucked up there. Because I had like everything was fucked up. I used up all of my cooldowns because I assumed that the encounters were ending, and that they would reset. But like the equipment reset, but not the like they, they don't explain this to you, right? And I'm not like. I'm not saying like I'm like I'm, I'm not like the fucking DSP of XCOM where I need my handheld in it to explain everything, but like a good UI should be or a good kind of like flow to like UI gameplay kind of stuff should t like it should be obvious to me. And in most cases, it's not. I don't know how many turns I have left. I don't know, like if I use the the, the whatever the fucking tongue on the snake. If it's I'm gonna get a thing after that, like I started to understand a little bit later just by trial and error. Uh, which is not great. <laughs> it could have been death. The, yeah, the rooftop should have absolutely been death. That should have been the end. Let alone me winning that encounter and then going on to another encounter and winning that one too. And even and that one was even easier. That's the worst part. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll be completely exposed at their terminal. I don't care. You're. <laughs> I, I know why she doesn't care. Apparently, bullets do not hurt in this universe. So okay, well. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. So, I, like I said, I still liked it, uh, and I'll still come back to it at some point. Uh, like, a, you know, it's not the best game I played this year. Definitely, Doom Eternal is still the best game I played this year, uh, and Black Mesa is the second best game I played this year. So, it's 
this is probably well i've only played like two games this year so i guess it's the third best game i've played this year so uh but i i think that as i get into more stuff i'll like there'll be actually astroneer was also pretty good but that's not that came out this year um it's not the game you should play if you're thinking of getting to xcom i would say that's a true statement because it's not highly representative of the xcom experience you would think it would be good for that because it, it's more casual focused but it's really because I, I would say it's more casual focused because you don't it's not as unforgiving as you losing your soldiers but on the on the other hand it's the glitches that actually stop it from being like a good game to get into it so yeah thanks for tuning in guys uh so i'll see you guys next time for whatever i do next i guess terraria this weekend <laughs>